This is definitely one of the pleasurable things about this game is just sailing. It's so chill. Well, unless you're being, you know, chased by a sea serpent. Uh, and there's a sea serpent. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I am the Brit OG, and in this episode, we are going to do some stuff around the house. We're going to build ourselves a longship, and we're going to prepare to fight Bone Mass. So, I have uh, spent several hours, uh, many hours, uh, off camera uh, doing the iron grind, and I have finally finished it. And, boy, what a pain in the ass that, that grind is. It's probably my least favorite grind in this game. Um, and that's also... You know, that was also with the portals being, uh, you know, enabling us to to uh, transport ore through them. Uh, but on that note, we, we've had some more discussion and um, the server's been set back to normal difficulty settings because so, so many of us were dying. <laughs> and and uh, he, uh, our server owner has also disabled, once again, the portals to allow us to take ore through. Um, and I think, uh, I think we're just going to keep, keep those settings for the rest of this in, entire playthrough. I, n I don't think we're going to adjust anything more. So anyway, yeah, so I've got, um, all, all of my gear, which I have currently have in here, uh, in here, in here, uh, this is all iron gear and it's all, uh, fully leveled. So all of this stuff, uh, doesn't go past four. And the shields only go up to three. So the, as you can see, I've completely leveled all this gear up. Uh, but I'm not wearing it because we are going to go on a voyage. And I don't want to risk losing that very, very expensive gear. In addition to that, I have um, a bunch of additional iron uh, that I got from the swamps that I was in. And, um, you know, so that's just extra iron for other things because we're still going to need iron for other things. I have also uh, fully upgraded the forge, so it is now a level 7 forge. We put in the anvil, we put in the tool rack, the bellows, the grinding wheel. I think I already had the forge cooler. Um, so that's upgraded. I put in the spice rack to um, upgrade the cauldron, so now we can make sausage uh, among other things. And let's see, what else have I done? I have, I made this stone cutters bench. So we got that set up now. And I have moved all of my food over to this area. We have vegetables in there. We have meat in here. We have herbs and berries and seeds in there. And this is currently holding a thing of frost potion. Uh, because as soon as we are done with bone mass, then we're going to hit the mountain. So we're going to need frost potion for, for that area. Uh, let's see. I think that's really about all I have to update you guys on. I um, don't think there's really much anything new out here. I, I made a, a, a fine wood pile over here. And I continue to expand the garden. I'm not going to actually pick those turnip seeds. We, we have plenty right now, but I am I am continuing to uh, pick the berries. Let's see. Yeah, we want to shift E. Uh, so I can keep expanding this. I'm planning on taking the berry bushes all the way back to the other side, uh, other end of the garden here. Had some weird stuff going on with trying to line these raspberries up, but I'm just going to leave them the way they are. Okay, so let's grab our uh, cultivator and we'll plant a few more berry bushes. I'm also going to, uh, we're also going to make a, the long ship in this episode and that's what we're going to take out on our voyage. So let's just grab all the berries that we currently have. And I think my cultivator, where the hell did I put my cultivator? Oh, and I've got money up to Wazoo <laughs> and certainly goes like crazy. Uh, the one of the trips that I was mining in 
had you know one of the the startling spawn points and so i dug it out you know so it was surrounded by water and just like endless supply of certainly course uh so we got all that um and then this is actually an overflow chest uh, with even more you know cores and stuff in it to take and sell to haldor at some point but yeah we're we're definitely not hurting for money we are quite wealthy at this point all right let's grab uh oh wait we were looking for the for the th uh, cultivator there it is all right so let's take that up here and we'll keep coming back with the blueberries so let's grab those first and just let those snap in place um looks like we're missing a blueberry so let's just I like the fact that you can plant these and then you can immediately harvest them afterwards. I think uh, John set the server gather rate back to normal too. So, yeah, we're just, you know, we're just trying to figure out what works best, uh, what everybody wants to do and that sort of thing. So, but I think, uh, I mean, you know, it's his server, so he can do whatever he wants and I'm fine with that because it's his server, but... I think we're probably done making changes. I think we're going to kind of try and stick with these settings for the rest of the time. All right, let's get these raspberries in place. Hey, what are you doing? Cut that out. Um, I have been invaded by trolls, by the Sertlings themselves, and I had a, uh, a, the forest is moving, which is a skelly gray dwarf invasion too at one point. Don't remember how long ago that was. Uh, and I do need to, uh, oh, right, we got to harvest these. Uh, I do need to do something about better defenses around this place because I basically have none. <laughs> so at the very least, I should probably put some palisade walls up or even better, probably some stone walls. Uh, I know the best thing to do is build a moat for the trolls in particular, but I don't know. I just, I, I kind of don't feel like doing that. I, I think we'll put some stone walls up instead. The trolls, I think, can still break them. But the thing about the trolls is when they show up is, you know, just kind of cut them away from your base. That's what I do. And it seems to work pretty good. Uh, all right, so we're still short a raspberry. We're short one freaking raspberry. Unbelievable. Let's go see if we can find one out in the wild to pick. There should be plenty out here, and they do respawn. So yeah, we'll work on getting a stone wall around this place. Um, it's still not my intention to live here forever, but I mean the the base is far enough along now to where we might as well at least protect it <coughs> because you know it's got everything we need at this point until we find a location that I would like to set up the permanent base in and I haven't even really scouted that out yet to be honest with you It'd be kind of fun to live in the mountains I've never actually lived in the mountains in this game you know once we can handle doing that of course it's a dangerous place that's for sure all right, where the hell's all the raspberries at? Here we go. Okay. I'm. I know I need to eat, but I'm kind of just conserving my food for now, since we're at the base. Oh, I planted some oak trees, too, and I've harvested some of them. Uh, but I still left a couple there just because I think they look awesome. Oh, wow, that needs some TLC. Most of that's just weather damage. I want to see, too, if we can increase our... Comfort level, a couple of points. There's a few things we can do for that. 
So we'll work, we'll work on that too. There we go. Okay. So we're getting there. It's a nice little supply of berries. As you can see, I've got a million bazillion turnips and carrots, so I'm not even bothering trying to replant those at the moment. Put those in there, put these in there. Alright, let's see what we can maybe do. Um, this is my hides chest to increase our our rested bonus a little bit. So one thing we can make is the uh, we can make this raven throne. So let's do that, and I'm I am. I do need to build a loft for the bed, too. Uh, let's put this right here, right in front of the fire. Well, not... I think... Hmm. That still only gives us a comfort eight. So that didn't that didn't do anything. We already had have comfort eight. All right, let's let's move let's actually move the throne over here because that's my cauldron where I do most of my cooking. Can we um, put another miscellaneous? Where? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Let's put another rug down here. I don't remember if this game... Uh, if, if this stuff is cumulative... Oh, okay. Now we got a Comfort 9, so that rug must have helped. So, like, in Enshrouded, you can only put one of each type of item down to get a rested bonus, and then it doesn't matter if you put more down. But it looks to me like maybe putting down two rugs, even though they're still rugs, gives you more rested bonus, perhaps? I'm not sure. All right, let's put this chair back here. So that way we can sit in our chair whilst we're... Oh, okay, so it's still eight over here, but if I come over here, then it's nine. I wonder what's contributing to that. Maybe the heads. It's nine over here, and then it gets back to eight over here. If I... Are there other people on the server right now? Yeah, looks like there is. Okay. If I... Pick those things up. And put the bed next to the throne. I know this is really jank, but until we get a loft made anyways. And then I think we had this little table. Let's just put that right there. Um, we have a bench here. So now what does that give us? Comfort 9. Still the same. Alright. What about putting up a banner? I don't know if it matters. Just kind of looking at these. The green banners... Probably the most expensive because guck is the hardest thing to get out of all of these items. I don't know if that matters in terms of its points, though. All right. So let's put the green banner up here next to the green shaman. Um, 
And let's put a blue banner here. All right, now what do we have? Comfort tin. Oh, wow. Okay, that those made a huge difference. All right, nice. If we... Bugger off, man. All right, what if we put... Keep putting more of these up. Um, how high up did I have that? Okay, I see. So it's here. And then let's do a yellow banner here. And then let's do a purple banner here. These are the same on both sides, right? And... Uh, oh, okay. I guess I can put something behind there. Purple, blue. Have, wait, did we do a red banner? Huh. We haven't done a red banner. Okay, let's do a red banner by Eichther. And this one, we are short on raspberries for the red striped banner. Okay. Well, then let's just put... It probably doesn't matter if we have a variety of colors. We'll put the, a blue one up there. Alright. So, it's still comfort tin. So putting the rest of those banners up didn't really do anything. Or maybe they have and we just haven't reached the threshold. I don't know. Okay, what else? We've got... I wonder if any of these, you know, like this... Oh, yeah, we got this um, hanging brazier. I'll bet that will give us some points. All right. Where do we want to put this? What if we... Uh, no, that's not going to work because it's right in our face. You fuckers. See, this is why I need a... Why I need a frickin' uh, wall around this place. I should have done that a long time ago, but... You know, I've always just had it in my mind that this was a... A temporary base, so... Only been doing kind of the bare minimum, but we keep doing shit like this, and it's not going to be so temporary. <laughs> okay, anyway, pull that back down. Um, what if? Uh, let's see, furniture. What if we hung it from there? It might be too high up out of the way. So I can't can't quite get it up that high. That didn't sound good, did it? Hmm. All right, well, here. Let's just put that there for the moment. Does that change our comfort level? No, we're still just comfort tin. Plus, oh yeah, this these have smoke. I forgot about that. That might be a problem. See how the smoke's accumulating up above there? I mean, as long as it stays up there... All right, what if we do this? What if we go to here? Let's grab a wood beam and put it right there. Mm, 
I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, it appears to. As long as the smoke, you know, stays upwards and doesn't come down and choke us out. Still comfort 10. Okay, so is there anything else we might be able to do? There's an armor stand. Um, there's, that's just an item stand. Does the sconces do anything? So what if we put those there? One there and one here. And pick up these. Still comfort 10. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, again, I you guys, let me know in the comments, but I think what's happening here is every time I set something down, I'm sure it's contributing. Uh, and we just have to, you know, reach a threshold. That's probably what's going on here. Uh, wow, we've used up a whole bunch of our fine wood. All right, let's let's put you. I want to kind of keep things together. It may not matter, though. It might be a situation where... Well, no, because... See, when I'm standing here, it's comfort 9. When I go over here, it's 10. So it's not all-inclusive in the range of the... Uh, crafting bench. Or is it? So is this comfort 9 from this crafting bench... Well, I don't even have a crafting bench over on this side of the house. Hmm. Okay. Let's put this right here. Oh, wait, wait a minute. That's supposed to upgrade something. What does it upgrade? Uh... Cause see, it's got the little green thingies coming out of it. It's not the forge. It's not the crafting bench. Or the stone cutter. Is there some kind of clothing thing that... Clothing workstation that we set up later on? I don't know. Oh, hey, look at that. We're at comfort 11 now. Fantastic. All right, so if we grab all of our armor out of here. Oh, you have to put those in your slots. Uh, okay. So one... That's cool looking. Oh, I got it. I got it bass backwards. <laughs> okay, so this this thingy that protrudes out the back, that's got a um Wait. What the hell am I doing? That's got to go the other direction.
Ah, oh, damn it. How did I... How did I pick up stone? Okay. No. Go... Here. There. I kept pressing one and kept thinking I wanted to put the pants on instead of getting me out of build mode. Put the bronze back in there. Put the chain back in there. Did I accidentally break one of the stone stacks out here? How the fuck did I pick up a stone? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea how I got those two stone. Did I break something? That's weird, man. Alright, now let's try this again. Armor stand. This goes this way. Okay. Nope. Thinks I want to equip it. Uh, see, he won't get out of build mode. That is so fucking weird. Uh, okay. C equip the bow. There, now I'm out of build mode. Okay, put the chest piece on. Put the uh, greaves on. Put the helm on. Can he take weapons too? Oh, look at that. He puts it on his back. That's cool. Alright, um... No, we don't need the axe or the bow or any of that stuff. But we could see if he'll take the... See if he takes the tower shield. Or if it takes the tower shield. Oh, yeah. That's cool. All right. Well, it gave us a comfort 11, too. That's the important thing. Just want to make sure all my expensive stuff's back in there. Fun stuff. All right, we don't need you any longer. I made this personal chest. It takes eight iron to make, but it only gives you like four, six or four slots. So it's like, why the hell would I spend expensive iron on a six-slot chest? I don't understand. I didn't see... I didn't see anything that would suggest I'd be able to lock it. Either, you know, so I don't know. Alright, I wonder if these standing torches give us any... Uh, like the iron standing torch, if that gives us any comfort. I kind of wouldn't think so. Standing blue, burning iron torch. Um, what about signs? Do those give comfort? Comfort 10. Comfort 11. Okay. Uh, do I have that backwards? I must have that backwards. Ah, yeah. I was gonna say. What the hell? There we go. Okay, well, we we boosted our comfort level up to 11. So that's an improvement. And uh, I think the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to make our longboat. Uh, far, as far as the carve goes... 
What am I going to do with the carve? Could maybe just pull it off over to there. I don't... I, I mean, I know I could deconstruct it too, but... I think I'd prefer to keep it intact in case we need a backup. So let's pull it around over on that end of the dock and we'll just kind of park it there. High centered? No, I think it's okay. All right, let's make ourselves a long boat. Our first one of this series. Ah, so what do we need? We need nails. We have enough fine wood. We're probably going to actually need to put this stuff in our inventory, I think. Alright, so let's make some more nails. And we'll grab the ones out of here. We need four more. Because we used a few of them for all that shit that we just made. Okay, we need 10 deer hide, 40 fine wood. So we got the... Oh, you know what though? I still want to keep 20 fine wood in my inventory for making a portal when we go on our voyage. Okay, so we want a total of... Uh, 60 in our inventory. I think I said 10 deer hide. And 40 ancient bark. Uh, what was that? Yeah, okay. We need six more. Okay, this should be everything we need to make the long ship. Is it a long ship or a long boat? It is a long ship. Okay. Do we have the option of changing the sail on this or not? I don't I don't know. I think it's just that's the way that it comes. Very nice. Okay. Look at this, guys. Our first long ship. And look at the storage this sucker has, too. It's huge. You used to be able to put, uh, like, carts on these ships to haul more stuff. I don't know if they patched that out or not. That's cool. All right, we'll get some. We'll get a cool screenshot or three once we get out on the out into the sea. Hey, why are you turning around the other way? Now, you know what else we need to do? Well, actually, if we make... Where is that thingamadoodle? If we make this... Can we... I don't think we can put this on the ship. Yeah. Okay. Because it already kind of has a... It's a little bit of dragon thing going on there anyway. So let's put it right there. Oh, that's cool looking. Did that give us more comfort? Comfort 11 still. Okay. Nice. Very nice. That looks awesome there. It's it's not fully centered, but that's good enough. Why is there a piece of wood up there by the elder? I don't know. Who knows why these things happen? 
banners look pretty good. Alrighty, so what we want to do is make sure we have enough stuff to um, make a portal. And we are... Uh, we, we just need 20 fine wood in our inventory. Uh, here. Grab 10 more from this. Okay, we got 10 eyes, 20 wood, 2 circling cores. And we're good to go there. Um, I think I think we're in pretty good shape for food because I'm not really planning on doing any major combat. Uh, right now, we're, what we're we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on our ship, and we're gonna work our way to Bone Mass, and then set up a um, a portal near Bone Mass. So as you can see, I have sailed all the way around this island here, and um. This swamp had all kinds of crypts in it. The two that are currently marked are still untouched uh, sunken crypts. Uh, but there was probably... I probably cleared out, I'd say, f five or six-ish in this area uh, to get all that iron. So, yeah, we got lot, lots of iron. Right. Okay, so... I... I think we're ready to go. Um, so let's just make sure we have our full rested bonus. And we'll go ahead and eat too. Maybe we will make a little bit more food. Alright, so that gives us 18 minutes of rested. Um, let's make... One more of those and one more of those. Oh, now the weather has to turn shitty. Of course it does. Oh, well. Let's just go. We got the big boat now. Kind of getting pushed into the edge of the dock here. But at least it's not causing any damage. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we don't want to put the sail down because the wind's going to blow us right into the bank there. All right, we might need to change this up a little bit here. Probably the easiest thing to do is build the dock out a little further rather than trying to bring the land in a little further. This is kind of embarrassing, man. This is our maiden voyage in our longship, and we beached it right before we, right after we got out of the dock. What the hell? Some kind of Viking I am, huh? Oh, come on. Damn it, Jim. Can I can I actually push this? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Alright. Come on, you can do it. We have a shallow keel, so. As soon as I say that, we scrape the bottom. Of course. That's funny. Not the most beautiful day for sailing, but hey. Let's lower the sails and let's go. I love it. When the weather clears up we'll, and the sun comes out, we'll take a nice screenshot. I don't want to do it right now because everything looks like shit. Alright, so the plan is to go sail around here and then once we get to this point, then we just head straight to Bone Mass until we run into an island and then, you know, 
we'll go around at that point. And we're not too worried about the rough water because we're in the big ship now. Turn this way. Okay. All right, I need to cut to starboard some more. Yep, this is a good heading until we get around this bend here. This is actually pretty cool looking. Especially with the lightning. I might turn that into a screenshot. We'll see. One thing I notice about the carve, if you're out in these really big waves here, uh, you know, the swells will actually damage the ship a bit. It's kind of scary. I've been told the ship won't capsize, but you could still bang it up pretty bad. We want to start heading northeast. Wait till we get around this bend here. This is definitely one of the pleasurable things about this game. It's just sailing. It's so chill. Well, unless you're being, you know, chased by a sea serpent. <laughs> All right, so we're pretty much heading straight towards Bone Mass. I'm under no illusion that we'll be able to go straight to him, but hopefully we can get there as close as possible as the crow flies, or in this case, as the ship sails. Uh, and there's a sea serpent. Yeah, but there's no way yet. He's going to catch us. We're fine. The wind is right at our backs. See you, sucker. He'll, he'll never catch us. It, it's kind of... It would be good to kind of know, though, that there's a... Serpent right about that spot there for future reference. We can come, come and hunt him maybe later when the sea's a little calmer, perhaps. We do see land in front of us. Oh, yeah, it's coming up quick. All right. Uh, so damn hard to see. Look at all those... Uh, Four over there. Okay, so I guess the question now is, um, do we go north or do we go south and around? There's just not really any way to know. So I think we'll sail north. Now, one thing we can do, once we have our portal set up, we can just take the ship apart and take it back to the portal and rebuild it. We don't have to sail it back. I might do that, though, anyway, just for the hell of it and uncover more of the map. We'll see. Let's get in a little bit closer to shore. So when we're looking at it later, we can tell what kind of biome it is. This is all just meadows through here. And in fact, you know what? Let's stop for a second. Um, 
and make a crafting bench and just top off the ship. And I also want to check this building for bees. No, there's no bees here. We would we would have heard them. Okay. There we go. Top it off. Got to wait for the swell to come back up so we can get off this rock. Either that or I'm going to have to hop out and... Yeah, you know what? Screw this. It's taking too long. Let's push it. It'd be helpful if they would let us swing our camera underneath the boat. You know, just so we can see the clearance and all that. But I know that's not realistic. But it would certainly be helpful. The nice green water. Okay, how are we doing? coastline is uh, curving around which is exactly what we want it to do looks like we're gonna have some planes over this way I don't want to get too close to shore because I don't want to get a mosquito coming after us there's a little fueling fort Trees are pretty. Okay, this is not a good situation because the wind is now against us, and if we got chased by a mosquito, we'd be in trouble. So let's get back away from the shore. There's a skeeter over that way. Pretty decent sized mountain off that way, too. That stone hinge place, that's not. It's not Yaglith, is it? I don't think so. I think it's just a stone hinge place. Oh, we're heading right towards Bone Mass. So we're getting close. Wind is in just about the worst possible direction it could be in right now. Sucks. Oh, yeah, there's one of those big stone pillars. Remember, we used to collapse those and then you just get a buttload of stone. It's a pretty big plains biome. All right, I'm gonna say, let's actually wait till we disembark before we eat more food. The bone mass is now gonna be, definitely gonna be off our port side. Um, so let's cross over to here. And I think what we'll do is we'll we'll moor the ship here, and we'll go get out and just take a look around. Okay, we'll put that there, and I'm going to. Here, let's do this. Let's repair the ship. Now, let's come over here. And, oh, 
Damn it. Let me get all the wood. Here, I need more wood anyways for what I want to do. Alright, that's good enough. I just wanted to... I just wanted to protect this a little bit. Because if you just build it on the ground, um, you know, the gray, gray uh, dwarf dudes can come along and... Or skellies in the nighttime can come along and hit it and possibly ruin it. Oh, shoot. I need that bird. Alright. It looks, too, like I'm the only one on the server. So I think what we'll do is we'll go home and sleep. We'll come back in the morning. Got a little bit of time left, though, before... Complete nightfall. So Bone Mass is not that far away. Let's just at least go to the edge of the swamp and just kind of scope things out a bit. Don't you yell at me. Oh. Hmm. That's a, f a fueling place. F is it fueling or fueling? I don't know how you pronounce them, guys. Oh, well, we don't want to go through there. I'd rather not fight these guys in bronze armor either. Well, we'd probably be okay if we had just one. Uh, and that is... Apparently what we have. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But, again, that's because we turned the difficulty back down to normal. Yeah, hey, we got some black iron from that. Good. Um, okay, I just gotta figure out how to get to the swamp. I don't particularly want to go across the plains to get there. Okay, there's some black forest that way. Still a ways out. Even from here. It almost looks like a... Oh, what the hell was that? I hear something big thumping around. It's just a boar, I think. Oh, there's a bunch of sea out here. Yeah, I see swamp that direction. I guess that even that's... Okay. So that means we should get in our ship tomorrow morning and sail around this way. Um, we don't have to go across land. Because it looks like we should be able to get through here. Yeah. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is go back home and sleep, and then I'll meet you guys back here. Oh, it's just a skelly. 
in the morning and we'll we'll sail that way uh, I'm a little bit nervous about this is a plane spot if there's any mosquitoes around here it could be in big trouble look at the sun set on the water isn't that awesome looking so cool Yeah, it doesn't appear to be anything. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, it's morning, um, and I think I'm gonna change this portal. Currently, I have it set to um, one of those two crypts up in the swamp that I didn't mine out. Um, yeah, right here. So what I think I'm going to do is just leave this portal here and I can reconnect to it later if I need to come back up here uh, and get more iron in the future. Either that or I could give it to, you know, somebody else to connect to. So we're going to change this portal to bone mass. In case somebody, well here, let's just do it and see if it, if it reconnects. Nope, looks like looks like it's good. Okay. All right, let's head on back. Oh, you're kidding me! The ground is shaking here. All right, let's draw them away. Good. God. Nope, he's gonna get me. Okay. Fuck off, all of you. Get out of here. You little fuckers. I got bigger fish to fry. Oh, no. Ah, shit. Maybe the fuelings will fight the trolls. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, let's... Here, let's, let's get the hell out of here for... A minute or two and let everything relax <laughs> this game man oh jeez it can be brutal I'll tell you it really can I thought the ground is shaking only happened at your base apparently not though apparently it happens on the player okay it looks like the trolls and one of the big fueling ogre guys are fighting, but they shouldn't come over here. Famous last words. All right, let's grab this stuff. Oh, you know what? I'll bet you there's a bunch of black, black iron from that fight. We should go. Uh, we should go scavenge. All right, let's be really careful because I just picked up the portal, so. But this is a good opportunity to get some black, black iron. Oh, this is way too risky. Forget it. It's not worth dying and not being able to get back over here. Whoops. Time to go. 